over into their freedom. It is imminent now that they will be reunited. Let's bring in our guest now, Tal Heinrich, Israeli government spokesperson. Tal, welcome, and it's good to have you uh, as this news is developing. Uh, we know there was a possible uh, violation of the ceasefire, which was a concern, but it looks like things are moving forward, fortunately, and we learned moments ago that the 10 hostages freed today, their families have learned and they are waiting to receive them. What else can you tell us that we haven't heard about what's being uh, transferred right now on the ground? Indeed, Bianca, just three moments, uh, three minutes before coming on air, I just received this notification so I can now confirm um, that based on the information that was received from the Red Cross, this is what the IDF said, 12 hostages overall, including 10 Israelis and two foreign nationals are on their way toward Israeli territory. Now, as you know, as we did in past days, once we will get the confirmation that they are officially on Israeli soil, we will make an additional announcement. Yeah. Yes. Um, but, you know, these are always nerve wracking moments for our nation. Every Israeli is glued to their news TV screen waiting for this um, sigh of relief, this uh, moment in which we will see more hostages coming out of the Gaza Strip. And it's it's another day of, of mixed emotions because yes. so many hostages are still in Gaza. And even for the ones who are coming back, what kind of reality are they coming back to? Uh, some of them still have family members, uh, friends, community members are being held in Gaza. Some of them lost loved ones and they don't even know it. Take, for instance, um, a 13-year-old and 16-year-old siblings just uh, who were released yesterday. They just found out uh, about 24 hours ago that their mother was murdered and that uh. their father is still being held in Gaza. It is heart-wrenching. We want them all to come home. We want them all to be released. And I, I'm heartbroken, too, that there's there's fathers left behind too. So there's really not a, a reuniting here. There's some reuniting. So 12 hostages, not 10. That is the latest information. And two foreign nationals, they could be Americans. We don't know. You don't know. So we're standing by for that. I also want to get your reaction to, you know, um, the release though, in exchange, there are three per one. So we also know as this is happening, there are three Palestinian uh, prisoners being released for each one of these lives and they come back and some of the video is quite disturbing as we see them being celebrated when they're back in Gaza. What's your reaction to the flip side of that? Well, first, there's no equivalency here, and I, I'm sure that every viewer, every Newsmax viewer knows that uh, you can't compare uh, what Israel is getting back. Women and, and children who were forcibly removed from their communities after having experienced the, the worst atrocities one can imagine and being held in captivity in the worst condition for 50 days, innocent people who just, you know, were taken out of their beds on a Saturday morning seven weeks ago with uh, Palestinian prisoners, the, the gender and the age doesn't really matter here. These are people who were involved in terrorist activities. Uh, you can't compare four-year-old Abigail Edan, uh, the, the American Israeli who was just released a few days ago after her parents so when you uh, see them, uh, were, were murdered. That's right. With, with, with a, and, and for instance, with, with a Palestinian terrorist named Yasmin Shaban, who was released from his, an Israeli prison and attempted a suicide bombing in, in, the, in the middle of Tel Aviv. That was her plan, wearing an explosive belt. Aren't you concerned um, when you see them being celebrated and welcomed back in? And we know what they've threatened to do before. And that's right. They, there is no comparison. These are terrorists that are being released and then they're being celebrated by, by the folks as they are welcomed back. It's just such a sharp contrast. It, it is indeed with Hamas flags, uh, you know, and, and they're being celebrated, as you said, and it shows you what Israel is really dealing with um, a society that celebrates, glorifies martyrs. Um, it, I, again, I, I think it's sickening. And for, for that reason, whenever we're asked about the day after plans for Gaza, we say that not only Hamas must be destroyed, not only Gaza must be demilitarized, but that the Palestinian society must be de-radicalized if we want to have any kind of prospect for a better future, for hope for this region. Paul Heinrich, I really appreciate you joining us today with those new numbers. Uh, and as the hostage transfer is underway right now, we certainly are, are praying as always, every day we are for the safe passage for these people. Thank you so much. Good to have you in today. Thank you.